Hey guys, what's going on? It's Exodema here. And uh just uh you know, I wanted to bring you guys today uh I don't know what it what gameplay is this. This is a domination on lockdown real quick. Um uh it, I was using I think the Type 95 with the red dot sight and I pull a pretty good score. I can't really remember what happens in the gameplay, but the host uh rage quits, but we still win. But um anyway, enough about the gameplay. So, I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh the update the new patch that just came out, uh, let me think, two days ago, and the update that uh, occurred today uh, with no download required. Uh, I'll get into that in a bit. Uh, but first, uh, I'm going to tell you about the new patch. Yes, we just got a new patch, uh, the 30th of November, which is awesome. We've got uh, two patches already in, like less than a month. That's amazing how much they've given us in support. It's great. It's so great. So, uh, g yeah, this patch was just released uh, a couple days ago, and it fixed a ton of things. I'm going to go through all of them right here. I'm just going to tell you pretty much all of them first. I'm not going to go into much detail because I don't think I have time, but here we go. 1130-11 uh, update. Major fixes. For multiplayer, major optimization to work uh, to major optimization work to improve host frame rate issues, host lag, so that'll improve your frame rate of your host. Spec Ops, major, major optimization improvement to help you with reports of Spec Ops rubber banding slash lag, so I guess that has something to do with Spec Ops lag. Session host migration fixes, which I guess if you're in a lobby before a match and you get kicked, I guess that'll stop. Added the add friend option in the multiplayer shell when selecting a player's player card. That is so convenient. Um, this is one of the things that I like more about Black Ops is the ally system. Uh, I feel at this point is more robust than Modern Warfare 3's. Modern Warfare 3's is good, but it's not on the level of Black Ops, which is unfortunate because Black Ops it was so easy and so seamless, and they're I think they're fixing it, they're trying to work on it here to uh, get it to that level, which is great. And other fixes: fix for crosshairs always going to the center of the screen when scoping in if control stick was selected for scope aiming. Probably helps sniping. Fix for, for proposal list only displaying first eight proposals in the list. Doubled whenever the host mantled through certain windows. I have no idea what that means at all. Fix for stinger not locking onto UAVs when using the Wii remote. That has happened to me so many times. I'm going to be getting kill streaks like crazy now since every time you shoot down a UAV you get a kill a point, sorry, point streak. So that's, that's a good fix. G-I-G-N SMG character would disappear when looking at him from a short distance. I don't know what that is, and it's never happened to me, so I don't really know what that is. Fix from Moab locking out user's gun, but still I'll allow ability to pull out the radio. I've never gotten a Moab, so I don't know. The mission select menu would remain locked if a player launched a sim single... Uh, after... Uh, if a player launched a single player campaign after creating the profile in the multiplayer shell. Um, what? I don't know. <laughs> Fix for player having no secondary weapon after turning off the overkill pro perk. Never happened to me. Spec Ops. Fix for the accuracy total on the end of match screen not always equaling what the player should have received. Simple enough. Fix missing bomber emblem during gameplay. Okay. Fix where after a player exits the remote tank, which is the uh, assault drone, their character would pop out of sight for a brief period of time. Never happened to me, plus I've never gotten the assault drones, I don't know. Fix for one player was able to mantle the sentry gun. Um, okay, that means ride the sentry gun? What the heck? Fix for when the player cannot pick up the flag but placed on a turret. Who places a turret on the flag? Oh, okay, right. Okay, well, fix for reports of players experiencing a freeze while a remote sentry is active in a private free-for-all match. Okay. Fix for when empty emptying the clip of a scar L with the heartbeat sensor in the hyper sight in a short-range position would cause the player to be unable to reload until they pi put the sight in the long-range position. Talk about uh, talk about specific, huh? Wow, so you have to be... So, if you're in the hybrid sight and you're in the short range, you can't reload until you switch to the long range. So I guess they fixed that. Well, that's stupid. Talk about specific. <laughs> Fix for messaging stating weapon rank had increased... No, wait. Fix for message stating weapon rank had increased when it hadn't. 
fix for some incomplete or incorrect playlist descriptions, fix for assist message not appearing in private matches, several minor player collision issues fixed, and various stability improvements. So that's the major fixes. And today, December 12th, um, we got another update. No download necessary, it says. Multiplayer Outlook. Fixed exploit. What's Outlook again? I can't even remember. Uh, multiplayer Village fixed exploit. Multiplayer and Downturn fixed exploit. What map am I playing on here? Down, down, lo lockdown? Uh, I can't remember what these maps are. Downturn. Oh, that one. I don't like Downturn. Outlook. Can't remember what Outlook is either. <laughs> oh man, this is great. But yeah, you have once again you have to have a Wii Shop channel to, uh, you know, download the patch and stuff. And hopefully this should, uh, should revolve more patches and stuff. They'll, I mean, they'll give out more patches, which is great. So uh, thanks for Treyarch or Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer or whoever's doing this. Thanks a lot. That's really, it's really kind of you guys to do this. And I wanted to talk about my. Uh, AdSense account, which just got shut down by Google, who said I had too many clicks on the ads that were posted. Um, I have no idea why this happened. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'm just not making any money off the channel, which I really don't care anything about. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't really do this for money. I mean, Jesus, I'm like three months into the community. I, I'm not a money. Uh, money hog or anything like that. It's just nice to get a little, you know, bonus on the side just to have some little spending money since I can't get a job because of school. But yeah, I sent an appeal to Google and they denied it, so I guess, uh, I guess no more... It, but for some reason, it still has ads on all my videos for some reason. I don't know why that is happening, but I guess, I guess it is. Ah, oh, man. This YouTube stuff can be frustrating. Alright guys, well that's about all I wanted to talk to you about today. Thanks for watching this vid. Um, leave a like, rating, or a dislike, and I'll talk to you guys in the near future. Alright, stay chill. Uh, see you later. Bye.